Greetings, my name is Leah Mastin. In this video, I'll take you on a brief tour of Scroll's most important controls and functions on Android smartphones. It's worth watching to the end because the more you know about Scroll, the more useful it becomes. Please remember that the Scroll app in this video has been recorded on the Pixel 6a running Android 13. If you use another model or Android version, some settings and pages on your phone may appear differently. Let's get started from the top of the page. It is a permanent home to five controls. The address books menu, the search field, the search options menu, the voice search button, and the plus icon for adding new contacts. Right below is the page header with three controls. The options menu, the group name, and the actions menu. The content area below the header takes up most of the screen to display contact lists, galleries, groups, actions, history, reminders, and people's folders. The alphabet on the right helps you navigate long lists of names. And the toolbar at the bottom lets you switch between the app's main sections. As you've just seen, if you know how to use the most common Android apps, you'll master scroll quickly. Please note that scroll follows your Android settings for background color. In other words, if your phone's appearance is set to the dark mode theme, like on this phone, scroll will display in dark mode, like now, and vice versa. To change your preferred background mode, tap Settings, Display, and Haptics, Background, and select between the Auto, Dark, or Light modes. I'll use the dark mode throughout this video because it is easier on the eyes. And here is how to adjust the font size to accommodate your eyesight. While in the list view, tap here to open the group menu and select the Zoom option to open the Zoom toolbar at the bottom of the page. Tap the plus or minus buttons to increase or decrease the font size. When satisfied, tap the Done here to close the toolbar. The app will keep the new font size until you change it. Next, let's review each of the app's principal components, starting with the address books menu. There are two address books on this phone, a personal one used by the contacts app and a work-related one from another Google account connected to this phone. The all accounts option combines all connected address books into a single list. You can also connect address books from Microsoft Exchange and other supported accounts. When you switch to another book, the avatar shows the respective photo and its name is displayed in the list view header, so you know which address book is in front of you at a glance. The second part of the address books menu displays My Business Cards. You'll use it to show a card when the auto rotate option is turned off. Otherwise, simply rotate your phone horizontally to reveal your active card. To switch to another card, swipe it to the left or swipe back to the right. With several address books and hundreds or thousands of people inside, finding the right person quickly shouldn't be a hassle. Tapping the microphone icon activates the phonetic voice search. Saying a person's name, such as Constantine, displays matching names from two address books, even though the recognizer spelling is different. Alternatively, you can tap the search field and type one or more names, such as Jim, James, and Jimmy. The app displays all matching contacts in the list below. Tap any contact, such as Jimmy Newton here, to open his folder. Swipe back the folder to return to search or tap here to clear the search results. Tapping here opens the extended search menu with eight options. The search by field, for example, lets you narrow the search to a particular field, such as first or last name, company name, position, and all others. To learn more about these search options, please watch the introduction video or check out the built-in user guide. Regardless of where you are in the app, touching the plus icon opens the Add New Contact menu. Tapping the header allows you to select another address book for a new record. 
the business card scanner uses the phone's camera to add related information to scroll without typing. The QR code reader does the same, except by scanning the code and adding contact information directly to scroll. The add new contact command opens a new folder so you can fill it in manually. The paste from clipboard command lets you create new contacts from information found on websites, emails, and documents, all without typing. It uses artificial intelligence to recognize individual fields and automatically add them to the app. The Scan Business Card Photo option adds new contacts from photos of cards previously saved in the Photos app. Finally, the Add Current Location option uses your phone's GPS to create a new contact with the address of your current location. As you can see, five out of six methods of adding new records are near instant and practically hands-free. Please note that any contacts you add or edit inside Scroll will instantly appear in the Google Contacts app, inside Gmail, Google Contacts, inside any browser, smart speakers, Android Auto, Pixel Watch, and all other apps and devices compatible with the Google Contacts database. The next three controls relate to the content below. The first one is the Options menu. You will use it to switch between the list and gallery views. Select a sort key from the list of fields, such as last or first names, company name, zip code, and several others. Show the list starting from first name or the last name, rename or delete a current group, add a new group, and the zoom option to adjust the font sizes to your liking. The commands inside this menu will change depending on the content because the list view, gallery view, actions history, and reminders have different options. The next control is the list view header. It shows the name of the current group, the number of contacts inside, and the sort direction button. Tapping the name opens the list of available groups. A tap inside it switches to the family group. Tapping the sort icon switches the list between descending and ascending order based on the currently selected sort key. As the sort order changes, the alphabet changes from Z to A as well. Only the first letters of names that are in the list are bright white and the rest are dimmed. The last control contains commands for sending emails to groups of people. You can use them to compose and send ad hoc emails, or use templates for personalized mail merge. The area inside the red rectangle is a list view of all available contacts. Each contact is represented by the avatar and two lines of text. The first line shows the person's or company name, and the second, additional available information. When the contact's photo isn't available, the avatar contains the first two letters of the contact's name. Lists are the fastest and most efficient way to interact with groups such as favorites, family, friends, colleagues, doctors, and all others. The alphabet on the right helps you navigate longer lists of names. A tap here brings you to the bottom of the list, and here, back to the top. A tap on the letter takes you to the first matching name. A swipe along the alphabet reveals the second letter of the name, so you can swipe to the left to open matching names, such as Miller Antoine. When a group contains a small number of names, scrolling the list is the fastest way to find a person you wish to contact. As I demonstrated earlier, you can sort the list in any way you like and display people starting with their last or first names. Scroll memorizes these settings for each group. When you find a person you wish to contact, a single tap opens the view folder. It displays only the fields that you added for this person. To return to the list view, swipe the folder page to the right. Unlike most programs, we design Scroll to adapt to your needs. That is why most functions you'll see next are changeable. A long hold on the name opens the edit folder. Unlike the view folder, it displays all available fields so that you can add more information. 
you can use this toolbar to navigate faster between all available fields. To return to the list view, swipe back or tap here. A double tap on the name makes a phone call to the primary phone number. Alternatively, you can program it to send a text message, open an email app, manage groups, delete a folder, or complete any other action in this list. A swipe to the left reveals an option to send a text and a swipe to the right to send an email. Like with double tap, you can assign any other available action you prefer. While cleaning and organizing your address books, you can select one or more contacts by tapping their avatars. One, two, three, four. The first tap has opened the multi-select toolbar here. Tapping this button shows only the selected names. Another takes you back to the entire list. Selecting this option opens the menu that you can use to create new groups for selected contacts, add selected contacts to existing groups, merge duplicate records into one, move the selection to another address book, or delete the selection. These options are super handy while adding people to groups or removing unnecessary records. Tapping this icon opens the groups list. Another tap on the plus icon adds all selected names to the friends group. To remove anyone from the current group, select a name, tap the minus icon, and tap the remove button to confirm. All done with just three taps. The gallery view is another way to interact with familiar people in smaller groups. For example, my favorites group is always in gallery mode because it allows me to get to anyone even faster than by reading a list of names. Tapping the star button toggles between gallery and list views of this group. Tap the star button again to return to the gallery. The options menu lets you change photo sizes to large or small rectangles, large or small squares, or large or small circles, so that, depending on your display size, you can see more people at once in the format you prefer. You can also change settings for customizing captions under the photos to show only a single line caption, two lines, or no captions at all. Also, you can adjust the size of the caption's font to fit your eyesight. For the favorites group, you can position photos in the preferred order by selecting the sort and fixed order command. This way, the people you contact most often will always be on top of the gallery page. Here are the two people we moved. Tapping on a photo opens the person's folder where you can make calls, send texts and emails, add events to your calendars, connect to their web and social sites, write notes, fetch directions, open relatives folders, check out birthdays and anniversaries, add custom fields, manage groups, scan business cards, share folder information, send your card or location to this person, and navigate the app. To return to the gallery, swipe back the page or tap here. The app will memorize your last communication method for each person. So you can tap this icon to repeat a call without opening a folder. The main toolbar completes the app's page. The star button is reserved for the favorites group that we are already in. The next button displays the history of calls, emails, messages, chats, and other actions performed while using the app. You can choose which actions to log in the settings section. I don't care to log in and edit my contacts, so I turned it off. Also, you can save your location when making an action. This way, later on, you can use the where was I command to see it on the map. Swipe here to return to the action history list. Within the list, you can swipe right to only show all of the recent text messages or swipe back to show all logged actions. You can also use the history only for this contact command to display all actions related only to Stephen Adams. Lastly, you can delete a currently selected action. Delete all actions in the log or select for how many days to keep them. 
The Next button serves two purposes. It brings you back from any other page to the last group you used. In this case, it's a list of all Google contacts. A second tap opens a list of groups for this address book. Tapping here navigates to the Friends group. To return to All Contacts, tap the center button again to select My Contacts group. The bell button opens the list of pending and expired reminders for birthdays, anniversaries, and all other events related to your contacts. The Today's Reminders and Notifications section shows the events and notifications pending for today. The badge on the bell icon points to the reminders in this section. The swipe to the right lets you add selected reminders to the calendar. The swipe to the left lets you remove the reminder from this list until the next notification. The badge on the bell icon has changed from two to one. The cross reminders relate to the expired events before today. Below are the reminders forthcoming over the next 14 days. You can change this period in the settings section. The tap on any reminder opens the contact folder with the options to send a gift, add this event to the calendar, snooze it for a few days, or turn it off until next year. You can also use this folder to congratulate a person via phone, text, chat, email, or social sites. Swipe the folder to return to reminders. The settings command takes you to the reminder settings section. Here, you can customize how and when the reminders and notifications are displayed, adjust the notification schedule, select snooze interval, and a few other options. Finally, even when scroll isn't running or active, it can notify you about the forthcoming reminders on the lock screen, inside the notification drawer, with a heads up banner in real time, and with the badge next to the scroll icon. The cog icon is the final option and it opens the settings page. You'll go here to customize scroll to your needs and likes. I will cover them in other videos, except for the user guide command. Inside, you'll find a description of all available functions and options. This guide is always up to date because it's hosted in the cloud. This quick tour completes an overview of Scroll's primary controls and functions for Android smartphones. I hope you found it informative and helpful. Please note that you can continue using contacts, phone, messages, and all other Android apps alongside Scroll because all of them share the same contacts database. For the same reason, any changes you make inside Scroll are instantly updated in all Android, Chromebook, and PC apps and devices, and vice versa. Equally important, your contacts database is protected and always backed up in the Google Contacts app and belongs to you for life, scroll or no scroll. Finally, scroll doesn't store, monitor, collect, or have any access to any information related to your contacts. Thank you for watching and happy scrolling. Please note that for privacy reasons, all people, images, and contact details mentioned in this video are fictional, except for me, Leah Mastin, and Konstantin Monasterski, the founder of Scrawl.